we'll get it live. Someone's gonna get grabbed. Someone's gonna get grabbed. The handcuffs are out. Okay, step aside, Pigeon Nose TV man, enter ye, leather jacket, uh, mop handle man. Go on, leather jacket, mop handle man, you can do it. Hi, viewers, welcome to Fanny Street. Now, uh, you Americans use the word fanny in a very strange way. You mean backside. And I was watching this American TV show where the man was castigating his daughter and he's banging on her bedroom, her bedroom window, and he's like, Mary Sue, you open this door right now, or you're going to get handprints all over your fanny. <laughs> Laura, you watch yourself. I'll be smacking your fanny if you're not careful. And then I'm going to go drown my sorrows at my fanny-beating ways in Fanny's Ale House. <laughs> oh, it's a former police station. And opposite Aunt Fanny's take no Aunt Fanny's beer house. Look at this anachronistic guy. Electric picture shop, television, video repairs and sales. Wow. What is the little graphic dude? What is that? What is that? What is he repairing? This is Titus Street. Long-term viewers will know Saltaire. This is where we've been hanging out with all the fannies, and uh, cut. Welcome back to Manchester. Behind me is the probation service. And the government has announced the new uh, centre-left government. We're going to release hundreds of thousands of prisoners, in fact, half of them, so that we're releasing prisoners on the street, onto the street, so that justice can prevail. What they mean is, if the prisons are full, you can go out there and commit crimes and not get busted. But now, you can commit crimes and just get a very short sentence. Little, little sentence. Two weeks in prison. Okay, f five hours in prison. Okay, your sentence is the two hours in the police. Okay, there's no sentence. In fact, handcuffing for two minutes is your new prison sentence. The sun returns. I'm on Oldham Street. Should we have a look at some uh, Perestroika Soviet housing? Lovely. I've been awarded one potato. Anyway, we're here looking at... Hong Tai, she's back. She's back on Oldham Road. They burnt down in the Arndale, but they're, they're here now. And uh, some authentic Chinese architecture. Anne Coates, up and coming, but you see the evidence of uh, the evening pursuits of crackheads everywhere. Behind me, there's a tiny little corner shop, the co-op shop, and it has a big, armored security guard working there and uh, a lot of these buildings have some very advanced security intercom systems to prevent the wrong sort of people coming and helping themselves to the middle class materials of all these hipsters still a glass and metal dystopia isn't it yeah it only looks good when it reflects the sun. Otherwise, shit. Here's some quality not allowed certification about to be delivered to the 10 year old Audi. RR sailors, welcome back to the crow's nest. I can see all me mateys from up here. What's going on down there? Oh, medical. Ah, bloody medical again. There you go. Digger man having his lunch atop the giant mound. That's okay, it's just a tram coming past. Uh, you all your Fanta, your baby, just put them on the track. Welcome to Cross Street. A fine place to be when you're feeling cross, but also when you're feeling happy. Which reminds me of a joke, actually. The seven dwarves were sat in a bath. Seven dwarves were all sat in a bath feeling happy. Then Happy got out, so they all felt grumpy. Well, well, well. That taxi's making funny noises. Oh, hold on a second. It's a bloody medical again. Baby blue G-Wagon, oh, baby blue. 
You might get rich, but you can't buy class or taste. Maybe blue, and it's got the bisexual turbo. Uh, bi turbo. Welcome back to Market Street. The thought for the minute is that animation, the 3D skull graphic, showing just how close those bullets came to sc Skull's Trump, I'd say. No, Trump's brain. Imagine getting domed in 4K, live on TV. Would have made the Zapruder film seem boring. Okay, step aside, pigeon nose TV man, enter ye, leather jacket, uh, mop handle man. Go on, leather jacket, mop handle man, you can do it. He's got a leather jacket, he's got a mop, and he can handle it. You cannot hold back. Red mop handle man with orange gloves. And the legend himself is wearing blue Crocs, look at that. Orange gloves, blue Crocs, leather jacket, baseball cap, he is winning, he is winning. Try to make peace with you, Joe Public, but you're still a twat, mate. You're still a twat. Hey, mate, you okay? All good. Try to make the peace with him. He's still a twat. He's just a drunk. He's just an aggressive drunk. For those of you not in the know, there's a, a YouTuber who I had a run in recently. He came over to the British Jews and started spouting all sorts of aggressive nonsense. Anyway, I watched his video. We got the body cam footage of Greater Manchester Police who did a, a kind of questionable arrest on them outside Tesco supermarket. And so he's walking towards me this there. I said, hey, Joe Public, peace, man. No hard feelings. I saw your video. Very interesting what you captured. And he just goes. <clears throat> and then I start filming. What in the topless crackery is that? Well, 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 if it isn't my viewers' favorite gardens. Cracky gardens. And uh, it's awfully, how do I put this, politically correct. I'm going to say this as gently and as politically correct as I can. It's awfully diverse and stabby. It's that time in the video from this particular vantage point to do the crack gardens, cracky gardens surveillance. Now, without my glasses on, every pram could be Ironside. Every blonde person could be crutchy. Um, I like. It was nice to introduce uh, Ironside's new shock pink girlfriend in a recent video as well. She's been seen wheeling him around, and they're both wheelie happy. I think Crutchy might be back in prison. Not seen him for a few days. And let's do a zoo. Oh, they've painted the hovel black to match the other wood around there. Maybe they've painted the whole row black, which is a fine color to have in high summer. You know, that's a nice uh, absorby color. Let's have a look at my screen. Any iron side on there? Is that crutchy with long hair? No, it's not crutchy with long hair. So I'm on uh, Market Street and uh, there's a bunch of free speech enthusiasts. I would show you what they're posting, but I'd get banned off YouTube for misinformation. But these are all free speech people, free speech. You know, I, I got a two week ban, these people getting banned from all sorts. But all they're trying to do is express how they feel about certain... Ah, a vantage point. Not often seen anymore on my channel. But when the boys and girls in black are uh, absorbing all the spectrum of the light, then I, I might I might come along for a quick a quick gander, but I need to worry about extraction. Wakey wakey, no more wakey bakey. Nice soundtrack. Well, it's good to see Greater Manchester Police patrolling Piccadilly Gardens, trying to wake up Mr. Unconscious, and uh, as I was filming, no, as I was not filming, shall I say, I recognized one of the guys, he's a dog breeder, 
We talked about how his French bulldog, his Frenchie, passed away. That was 13 years old. We both agreed that was a good innings for a Frenchie. And he told me, see that guy passed out? I said, yeah, the police are trying to wake him. He said, he's not going to wake up. I said, why is that? He goes, there's a new spice. There's a new spice on the street. And it's stronger than before. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's a type of person who doesn't know whether they like me or hate me. So they give me the finger while smiling and saying, yes, Charlie. So I'm like, okay, I'll take it. Attention's attention. Oh, look, more cops. We'll just enjoy the sights and sounds just for a few moments. Radio Charlie Beach, broadcasting from the south side of Market Street. Oh, wait, that's the copyright music. I gotta talk over this. I gotta talk over it. Here's some uh, Isk Khan. You got your Hare Krishnas, your Buddhas. Your, your Hindus, your Hari Ramas. Hello, Guranga, my friend. Thank you for the free food at Glastonbury. You kept me fed. Thank you. Look at that. They did keep me fed. When I was 20 years old, I could have afforded food at Glastonbury. Actually, no one can afford food at Glastonbury Music Festival. And there was a Hari Rama, Krishna Krishna tent, and three free meals a day. All you had to do was listen to a bit of their bullshit, and that's fine. Here's expensive black making friends with a cigarette butt police. Enthralled in a mall. Let's do it. And as quickly as we all arrive, we're all leaving. But they just got something on the earpiece. It's like Agent Smith. He just goes, oh. Wait, where, where's, where's Neo materialized now? We're gonna go get Neo. Okay, there's things happening here. We're gonna try and get it live. We'll get it live. Someone's gonna get grabbed. Someone's gonna get grabbed. The handcuffs are out. Oh, mate, the poor gentleman, he's reading a biography about Marilyn Monroe and he's got arrested. That's it. No, he must have. <laughs> he's, I think he's done something. But he's taken it well, he's taken it like a man. He's polite, he's not complaining, he's not kicking off. He saw me filming, he, he gave me permission. So he, it's a very British arrest. See your videos. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. No, thanks for watching, guys. Well, wait, 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 go on, go on. Guys, You're on. Free Palestine, guys. Free Palestine. You know, I'll let it slide. Free speech and all. All the best, guys. See you. Alright, I'm not going to get too close to piss them off, but uh, they suspect them of something. Wait. No. No. Wait, this will be the perfect thumbnail. Here we go. Wait, wait for it, guys. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Perfect. No, don't boom. <laughs> Uh, anyway, he's a very well-dressed guy. I've seen him before. He knows who I am. He kind of gave me tacit consent to being filmed. He's been unhandcuffed. Look. Oh, wait, wait. He's getting re-handcuffed. No, he's getting unhandcuffed. Wait, 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 Yep. Yeah. Manchester is Manchester. You walk around for 10 minutes, people just get handcuffed in the middle of the street. Now he's going to be searched. Hello, mate. How are you? All good, all good. He must have been suspected of something slightly 
moderate to require instant handcuffs. And uh, if it's a, a simple shoplifting suspicion, I'm... Uh, in fact, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't know if he's known. I don't know what, whether they've got history. I don't know anything. So I'm just going to maybe narrate this in my ignorance. And I'll happily admit it. I am ignorant. And the path to happiness is to admit that you're ignorant, you're cringe, and you're a scoundrel. And until you can admit that, your ego will prevent you from knowing the truth. The truth is, is that we're all, we are all, hello mate. Hey guys, we're all, every single one of us, pieces of shit. There you go, there's another potential thumbnail. I have to admit, the, photo the photonic sensor on this camera is phenomenal. And it's still small, it's still a micro penis, but the Samsung using software, they do have, did someone just, did he just kick up like a mule? Is someone kicking? Yes, anyway, <laughs> to finish off the rant, software, the Samsung uses very clever software to make the camera app work very well. I'm under arrest. It's okay to talk? Why are you under arrest? What? Because basically, people want my money. So I've had to literally rob. So I can get some money from Oh no, but you didn't have to rob, did you? I didn't have to. I didn't have to. But I'm with me long time. So you're admitting you thieved? I did. You're under caution. Oh yeah, remember, you're under caution. Everything you say. I'm still a star. And do you know what I mean? Everyone loves me. I'm yeah, I've there. seen you before. Yeah, you've yeah, you've been friendly you with me. Were you not the guy that I interviewed? Yes, who, yes, who you, you would save the homeless guy from being attacked. Yeah. Yes. Well, basically, I'll be out in a few hours. Just anyway. Crime, and I'm sorry for doing this. You know what? It takes a gentleman to admit it, admit wrongdoing, and to apologise. And so I wish you all the best, and God bless you. Thank you very much. Sir. And also, anyone that lets me film without getting too angry, I appreciate it as well. So yeah, thank you, sir. Me See you never. You two really go. go. <laughs> anyway, have you ever been arrested in any other country? The British police are very nice compared to other places. Yeah, I got arrested in Saudi Arabia once when I was 15. Everyone says I'm from Africa. Sorry? Everyone says I'm from Africa, I'm from Africa. The Spanish police, very bad as well. Portuguese police, fascists. Jack booted fascist. But anyway. <laughs> no, it's the Portuguese, not not not, not the British one. Anyway, I'll leave you guys to it. Thank you very much. Cheers guys, all the best. See ya. Bye bye. You know, and kudos to the British police, the two officers that were with him. He started giving us his life story, admitting to being a thief and robbing someone. And the lovely policeman goes, Whoa, 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 remember you're under caution, anything you say can and which I thought was a nice touch. Come on, you'll agree with me. That's a nice touch, but also kudos and thanks to the arrested man. He took it very well and uh, lets me get my photon. So, dix points, dix, 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 ten deca points. So, to my darling viewers, I just want to say thank you for enjoying today's video, for watching, for coming along for the ride. And as we let the cops enjoy their lattes and flat whites, oh, look, it's, it's Kaya. He's a, he's a lovely gentleman. Look at, look at that. There's some propaganda for you, Kaya. Give those grannies a hug. But anyway, guys, as always, I'll see you on the next video.